Hello, it's normally the start of the weekend vlog um, when you're watching this, but today is Wednesday, the 11th of September. I'm going to be going away for the weekend on a hen do, so there won't be um, a weekend vlog for Monday. So I thought instead I would film a vlog today and then upload it. So, you know, you still have a video on the Monday, even though it won't be the weekend vlog. It'll just be um, a Wednesday vlog of me shopping in Norwich today. So that's what I'm going to be doing um, in this vlog. And I will have like the weekend vlog for Wednesday so it's going to be a couple of days later because I don't get back until Tuesday evening so I hope you're okay and you had a good weekend so this is just like an extra vlog so you didn't miss out. The time is 10 past nine I've dropped Toby off to school and I've stopped at McDonald's not to get like anything bad but I've got myself a flat white because I hadn't had a coffee yet I was rushing around this morning so I've got a little flat white and I got some porridge so I thought I'd have a healthy breakfast oh that's really hot I think I've got the apple and cherry but it's really cheap um this porridge it's £1.29 so if you're ever desperate and you want something like healthy McDonald's um have quite nice porridge and the flatbreads are really nice as well but I thought yeah I just fancy something warm because it's cold today it's raining it's around 13 degrees so I've got a jumper on um, and my jeans as well um yeah so this is just a shopping vlog from today I've got to go into Norwich I've got to go to Primark to get some makeup and I want to go to some charity shops as well it's 10 minutes past 10 now and as I was driving into Norwich I had the urge to just have a look um, at the car boot sale so Arming Hall car boot sale in Norwich it's quite near the town center it's on a Sunday and a Wednesday and I thought well I may as well go and have a look I've got nothing to lose um, and there was hardly any stalls because it was raining earlier on as well but I managed to buy a few things I spent four pounds in total um, it was so windy though it was yeah re I would have done a bit of vlogging but it was just way too windy um, so I bought um, obviously for our rustic -y, rustic wedding I bought a very rusty old suitcase um, this is more just for the look oh my god hang on Ugh. yeah this is more for the look if I can actually show you so this was a pound it's a huge big suitcase um, and it is actually rusty but I think if I find a couple of those they'll look lovely stacked up together this is not a very good way of showing you I am trying oh there you go this is the suitcase it's in quite good condition apart from being a bit rusty and the inside's nice and i didn't haggle for the suitcase the man wanted a pound so i thought that was a good price um for the suitcase i was like yep i shall have that and even if i use it as a prop it was only a quid so a prop for the wedding and then from a different store i think they were house clearance people as well i got a whole bag for two pounds um this jar so with some like stringy rope stuff around it's like put some flowers in there for the wedding and from the same stall i bought five trios cups and saucers and there's another spare couple of um saucers as well and they say on the bottom made in britain exclusively for bhs victorian rose so they're not like um really old or anything but i just think they're quite pretty so two pounds for the cups and saucers and jar and then they put it all in this bag they wrapped it all up in bubble wrap so that was really nice of them so two pounds including the bag and then just one more thing to show you um i got some little bowls these are for afternoon tea so um we need little bowls of crisps and i thought they would be perfect to just put a little bowl of crisps out but i need to wash them um, because they are really dirty and muddy but six of those for a pound so it was definitely worth popping in and having a little look and I only spent four pounds which isn't a lot and I think um yeah I think they're going to be perfect the little things I bought there um, so I'm going to head to Norwich my first stop is going to be Primark because I'm desperate for the makeup and I don't fancy normal shopping today um obviously I just like secondhand shopping um so yeah I think I'm literally just going to go to Primark and then go to the charity shops just in Chapelfield shopping centre I haven't been here for ages, months and months. I don't know the last time I came in here, but I'm just nipping through to get to Primark, which is outside. There's a big bug. It's another one, there's a, an insect festival. There's another guy up here too. I don't know what that's about. It's like a crab or something. Ugh. What's going on with this? Big bug tour. Ugh. I'm outside and there is Primark, so that is where I'm going, just over the road to get to the makeup. Thank you. I don't need any of these kind of clothes, so I just need to find the makeup. A 
I've just seen it. It's down here, so this is the makeup that I use. I've managed to find three um, in the nude colour, and then when I get a bit paler, I've got two ivories. I might get another one of those. And this is what it looks like on the inside. This one's a bit opened already. You get a little mirror. That is the foundation and powder. It's really fine. And you get a little sponge as well. So I'll get the one that's not been used. I'm just going to get another one of the ivory. Oh, and I'm going to buy this because they're really good, these cover up sticks. And they're only 90p. I ended up buying quite a lot in um, Primark, loads of makeup. So I'll show you everything. I might go for a quick coffee because it's starting to rain and then like show you all the makeup bits and bobs that I bought. Um, there is a second hand wedding charity shop somewhere around here. So I'm going to go and find that. Um, but it's raining, so I've just stopped under a under a bus stop for a minute. It's still raining, but I'm braving, but it's only spitting, it's not too bad. I think it's around here. So I'll go to this charity shop and then I'll just pop for a coffee somewhere and I can show you my Primark bargains. Here it is, Norfolk's Cancer Charity, the Big C. And I've, um, I haven't been in here before because I've never really had a need, but I've been very excited to come in here and see what they have. The bridal bit's upstairs, so I'm just going up and then there's a normal charity shop downstairs. So we'll have a look. Oh, I can see shoes. Look, lots of dresses. There's like a tea length one. They look lovely. There used to be um, a section in Great Yarmouth upstairs like this, but they don't have it anymore, sadly. Oh look, they've even got a bridesmaid flower girl outfits too. I'm just gonna have a look at these. I have got a dress, but it might be worth getting a backup depending on how expensive they are. This one's too big, but just out of interest. How much is it? 75, that's not bad at all, is it? I thought it was gonna be just full of wedding um, items, but it was just mainly dresses upstairs, but there's some lovely ones. So if you do need a, a wedding dress, have a look in there, um, because they had all kinds of sizes and the, the women were really helpful as well. It's still raining. I'm gonna find somewhere duck in and have a quick coffee. I've just come into like a cafe pub and this is called The Murderers. So I've just ordered a coffee, um, a cappuccino, and I'm gonna show you the makeup that I bought this morning from Primark. I bought this for my friend Kay for her birthday, which is in December. Um, so I'm just gonna put it away. It was only five pounds and she's obsessed with uh, Disney. So I think she'll love that Minnie Mouse perfume and it smelled really nice. And I bought this as well. It's a Minnie Mouse body mist and that was two pounds. So I might give that to my friend. I might just keep it because it smells lovely. This perfume smells so good. It's lovely. So I just got a little bottle. It's two pounds eau de toilette. And then I got a sharpener with all the different ones that I can use on my different, um, you know, eye liners and lip liners. Some toothbrushes, they were a pound. Some whitening toothpaste for 60p. Makeup artist tape, I thought I'd give that a try. One pound, oh, yeah, just a pound. And then this looked good, it was reduced to a quid. And it's a Fix and Glow setting spray. So I can take that on holiday. And then some tweezers um, for a pound. And I also bought a pill box for my dad because he's diabetic and he keeps forgetting if he's taking his pills. So we can fill these up. So we've got all the different days of the week. So I shall give that to him when I see him. I bought some of these eyeshadow shields. Um, kind of, well, I can use them now, but I thought they'd be quite good when I do wedding makeup. They were £1.50. And then a concealer, eyeshadow and concealer brush. That was a pound. Um, and what's this? Oh, a pound for this little concealer stick. And there's a face powder, so like little ones to put in your bag if you're out. And that was reduced to a quid. I bought loads of makeup from Primark. I haven't been there since December, so I kind of just stocked up. So I've got a few more things. Some bronzer for two pounds, and this is matte um, bronzer. And then I saw this foundation contour stick um, for a pound, reduced from 250, and the lady said that was really good. And then what else have I got in here? And this is what I went into Primark for, the pressed powder foundation. And I bought some iridescent body gel and some glitter to take along to the hen do. So I thought we could um, put glitter on our cheeks. I don't know if we will, but I thought I'd get them anyway because they were reduced. And this looked good. This is a bronze and contour um, duo, and that was a pound, so I can bronze and contour. Um, and then, what's this? Oh yeah, just some more iridescent primer for the glitter. And the concealer stick, I'll show you that in there. It's really good, that one. And some eyeshadow, this is really pretty. I really quite like the shades, they're quite autumnal. So this is the last of my Primark makeup haul. Right, I'm gonna drink the rest of my coffee now. That was where I just went for a coffee. It was really nice, the people were lovely too.
and this is um, just part of Norwich. I love Norwich, I think it's such a nice city. And that's Norwich Market, which is really good and it goes right up to the top, um, up there. So it's full of little stores. It's award winning as well, it says, winner Britain's best large outdoor market 2019. And I'm back in Tuffle Fields um, and I'm gonna head to the car and go to some charity shops. I've just been to the charity shops along here. There's three of them. Um, they were really good, so I'll show you what I have bought when I get in the car. Little stash in here, and I've got a Tesco meal deal as well. There's a little shopping parade on Grove Road in Norwich, and there's three charity shops, and they're always really good. Um, so whenever I'm in Norwich, I always, um, on the way back, I always park near them, because you can park outside, and then um, have a look in the charity shop. So I'll show you what I bought today. Um, I got this little sign that says, To the Wedding, and this is Assassin Bell. Um, Assassin Bell. Thing, and it was £1.50 and that was from um, Relate and uh, obviously I can use that with little signs up to you know where the wedding is and as the guests walk up in our drive they'll probably know where it is but it's just quite sweet or I could always um, write party or something on there or like to the bar or something if I wanted to with blackboard paint and a chalk um, and then I also bought this um like picture sign thing and it says love along here and then you can put pictures in the little um behind the heart so i could always put um pictures of me and lee from when we were younger to now um in those bits so that's really quite sweet isn't it and that was 199 for that um and all oh, these are lovely i saw these as i left i saw them in the window but we'll have to go back for them a uh, little sign well not signs a little block letters that say love so we've got the l o v e um and they were one pound hang on have i got this the right way no that says vol we don't want to say vol do we? we want to say love i'm not sure if it's back to front on here but you know what i mean it does say love it's the right letters oh this is fiddly when you're holding it so there we go it does say love if that's the right way around so just solid little wooden letters but they're perfect colors like wooden with white letters so I'll put those back in there and this was a funny little thing I saw it um, and then when I went back in I thought well, I may as well get it it was £1.59 and it was from the Children's Society as well and um, they were from the Children's Society too and somebody said it goes in your boot it folds up and then you can put it in your boot um, as you know you can put things in there maybe I can put like shopping bags in there might be a good idea and that says the National Gallery that's where that's from I've got two more things to show you I have got a pair of flip-flops these were two pounds and they were from Relate and they're just very pretty pink with little flowers on and I'm going to take these um, on holiday tomorrow when we go on the Hindu to Croatia yet yeah, they were two pounds and they fit really nicely I just needed some flip-flops because I had to chuck my ones in the bin that I've been wearing I wore them every day in the summer this is a funny little dress I wouldn't normally buy it because it's got a, a dicky butt on it but I'm going on a Hindu tomorrow to Croatia and um, they're dressing up in black trousers white shirts and dicky bow bow ties dicky bow ties what are they called bow ties and braces i don't like wearing jeans at the best of times let alone like trousers i just i would just look awful i'd look, look like a weird waiter a weird chubby waiter so i think you have to have a certain body type for like trousers and a shirt don't you to make that look kind of sexy so i'd look awful so i was really excited because i thought i'd just have to like stay out of the way of the pictures and just wear a black dress so i can kind of fit in with the dicky bow black and white thing theme because this is an amazing dress and well i wouldn't obviously normally buy this but it's perfect for the hendu it was 4.99 from the children's society and the make is lauren conrad and i think was she from the hills or something i could be thinking of someone completely different and um, there's a little button at the back there and um yeah so this is what the dress looks like it goes in under the bust and then it flares out and it fits me perfectly so i saw it and thought that's going to be too small there's no way that that dress that would be perfect for the hendu is going to fit me and it did i was so pleased so i've got this dress to wear for the hendu and i'm not going to feel like i'm not joining in because I, I love getting involved and i never like always sort of go along with any kind of dressing up stuff but i just trousers and a shirt i was like oh no i look i don't even own trousers and a shirt i have to borrow like lee's ones and i look really odd but i can kind of 
go along with it. So I'll just get some black shoes and hopefully I'll fit in with all the other girls. I only know one of the ladies on the hen do, the actual hen. She's the only person I know. So I'm hoping um, the others will be nice. I'm sure we'll have a brilliant time. So I'm looking forward um, to the hen do. It's like a holiday hen do. So I'm really pleased I found that dress. It's going to be perfect. Thank you very much to the charity shop gods that uh, shined on me and let me choose that dress because I wouldn't have found that anywhere if I was looking for it I never would have found it I can't quite believe it it's just perfect um so I will be doing a vlog on the Hindu, so I'll show you the dress when it's on and what the other girls sort of look like um so I'm going to end the vlog here I hope you enjoyed it and if you did give it a like and if you haven't subscribed then please do and I will speak to you on Wednesday with the Hindu vlog and um, that's why you got this one on a Monday because obviously I'm still in Croatia having a lovely time um so thanks for watching I'll speak to you Wednesday with the weekend vlog and then on friday i've got another charity shop haul so they're the next couple of videos coming up but have a lovely week i'll speak to you soon oh in the meantime come over to instagram i'm kate mckaybe and my house account is kate's homely home they'll be linked in the description down there thank you speak to you soon bye